fabulous opening contest here on Viva La Lucha Wrestling fans. You just witnessed Los Ego Boys desde Mexicali with a hard-fought victory over the locals, Los Rebels de Tijuana. Tremendo trios action right here on Viva La Lucha. Tremendo como no, Larry. But right now I'm very excited because we have my favorite aspect of Lucha Libre. I'm talking about a special attraction, Mexican minis match. Big things come in very small packages. Chick. La siguiente lucha a una caída sin límite de tiempo. Well, Chico, it's time for your favorite part of the Lucha Libre money, people. The Mexican minis. Look at this. Sometimes, you know, you're feeling a El little full. You don't want a full Lucha Libre. You just want a little Lucha Libre. Piratita Morgan, desde Mexico. Mini Espectrito. Espectrito. Another Mexico City resident. Los siguientes participantes, Los Técnicos. Octagoncito. Look at that, Octagoncito. One of the more popular of the minis. Y Mini Tigre. Mini Tigre. From Tijuana, Baja California, right here. It's like a little cup. And here we go, Chico. Piratita Octagoncito Esprectrito. Bless you. And of course, Mini Tigre. And you know, many people, many people underestimate the, the Minis. They are used to the American style of, of midget wrestler where it's geared towards Gomez. But this is something entirely different, Chico. These guys take it to the extreme, to the limit. They fly like nobody's business, death-defying acrobatics, money people. Let me tell you something. The minis is the way, the new future of Lucha Libre. I have more respect for the luchadores, the minis, because everything they do is bigger. Imagine if you are a man in a ring and you climb to the top rope and it is 10 feet high. That is what these guys are doing all the time. They're diving from the top rope just like a regular man, but it's twice three times as high for them. You're looking at in the ring right now. Octagoncito being double teamed by Los Rulos, the Espectrito and Piratita Morgan. And as you know, many people, these Mexican minis are basically little replicas of the larger versions of the wrestlers. For example, Piratita Morgan, we have the famous Pirata Morgan. Espectrito, we have the famous Espectro. Octagon, Octagoncito. But don't be confused because we are not having a sale. You don't get this match at half price because the wrestlers are half as big. Absolutely. You still gotta pay full price. You cannot underestimate the ability of these Mexican minis. Especially the one you are looking at right now, Espectrito, as he is taking the action to Octagoncito here in the middle of the ring. He's putting on the choke, the little choke. Double team once again as Piratita Morgan. Oh! oh Octagoncito yeah. gets out of the way and Piratita blows, knocks the block off Expectrito, who's on the apron right now. Octagoncito turning the engines on. Look at this! Tremendo movida desde Octagoncito here in the Palenque de Morelos, Tijuana, Baja California. Octagoncito, he, he has the advantage right now, but I guarantee you that the Piratita can drink all of us under the table. And as we saw before in the rules, no tag needed. Espectrito coming in, taking on Mini Tigre. Whoa! Mini Tigre yanking the head down of Espectrito, looking for the upper hand. Great Appa arm drag. Apparently today was casual day because Mini Tigre decided, I just wear a sweater today. It's a good call. It's casual day in the Palenque de Morelos for the Mina Tigre, but not for Piratita Morgan. Big right hand, firm smash. Little big right hand. That's right. Still big though. Octagoncito, Piratita thrown to the cement floor. Look out. And here comes Octagoncito with a top besito. Low altitude. Tremendous move by Octagoncito. Piratita incapacitated. Here's Mini Tigre with Espectrito. Inverted Huracarrana, one, two, three. Victory! He's trapping right there. A win, for the, a win for the technicals. Inverted Huracarrana, Mini Tigre, and Octagoncito. Victory! Larry Rivera, how can you not love a grand war 
a big battle between four of the most skilled, talented mini Mexican wrestler luchadores in all of Tijuana. Exactamente. You just saw the technicals, Octagoncito and Mini Tigre pull off the victory. But now the question is, will this be a foreshadow of prediction of things to come? Because Extreme Tiger, the man that Mini Tiger looks up to, idolizes, will also be in action tonight here at the Parque de Morelos in Tijuana, Mexico. And as promised earlier tonight, me, George Truly, Chico, Larry Rivera, is getting ready to hit the ring to interview another member of the dynasty of the Rey Mysterio. We are talking about El Hijo, the Rey Mysterio. So Chico, many people, I'm, I'm leaving you in control. I'm now going to the ring to talk to El Hijo of the Rey Mysterio. Good luck. In Tijuana wrestling history, perhaps the most famous luchador is the man who will be in our main event here tonight, the Rey Mysterio Sr. And now his son is ready to take on the immense responsibility of carrying on the Mysterio family name. And here he is now. You can just look in the crowd and you see some people, they are cheering. Some people, they have the mouth wide open. They are in a shock because this is like looking at Elvis Jr. Mucho gusto, hijo de Rey Mysterio. Un gran placer a conocerte. Te quiero preguntar simplemente, ¿cómo te sientes estar aquí continuando la tradición de la máscara de Rey Mysterio? Bueno, antes que nada, buenas noches, Tijuana. It's been very popular here. It's very funny. Para mí, portar la máscara de Rey Mysterio, tanto como la portó mi papá, mi primo, y ahora yo seré el siguiente en portarla, es un gran honor. ¿Por qué? Porque junto con esta máscara está el nombre de Tijuana, cual lo hemos puesto muy en alto. Oh, and now we see we have a visitor, most likely uninvited guest. Micho El Millonario has decided, of course, to reign on the parade of Rey Mysterio, el hijo de Rey Mysterio. Oye, Nicho, espérate este tiempo de el hijo que estás haciendo. A poner el nombre de México en alto. Yo, Nicho el Millonario Sicosi, me salí de este pozo. Señoras y señores, el hijo de un perdedor ante ustedes. Oh, permítame, Nicho, o psicosis, como te quieras poner. De mi papá, no vuelvas a hablar. Sí. Y si recuerdo bien, y no sé, a lo mejor la afición también, quien te desenmascaró aquí en Tijuana y quien te hizo y te deshizo fue mi papá. Cuando tu papá estaba en este pueblo jodido, yo estaba trabajando al otro lado del mundo, poniendo el nombre de México en alto. Yo sí vengo de familia en luchística. Mi familia sí es luchística y es diabolengo. Uh oh. Look at this, Fobia, he's in the ring. It was an A and B conversation, and Fobia decided to see his way into the double beatdown. Oh, Chico, coño, oh, Chico. Oh, okay? I, I had to get out of there, man. The actual breaking down. And look at this, Rey Mysterio oh. coming to this, coming to the room, Rey Mysterio Sr. Taking care of action, taking care, Chico. It's a family I can't food. believe it. I was almost in the middle of this crap. Chico. It's a good thing you got Geico. Look at this. Rey Mysterio Cine now being punished. You're going to be okay, Larry. At the hand, I'm okay, Chico. The you need Castellano a refresco. brother. The Castellano brother, Nicho, and Fobia. Oh, and look at this. No. La Park. La Park, LA Park, Chico. It's breaking down here in the Palenque in Tijuana. Who else is coming to this? We only got one ring. Look at this. Breaking down. Cleaning house. Oh, the show boat. Talk about a main event tonight, Chick. Wow. Coming to the aid of his friends, but still having enough time to throw in a little humor for the people. El hijo de Rey Mysterio, making a name for himself, and what a debut for him here at the Palenque in Tijuana. 
This is a long feud. This is like, this is never going to end. The, the grandchildren of these people are going to be doing the same thing 100 years from now, 200 years from now. Phobia and Nicho deciding to turn around and head back to the dressing room. It's insanity here tonight in the Palenque. And what a main event we are going to have tonight. But before that, when we return, it's high-flying tag team action as Jigsaw and Lynn Dorado face those evil ice creams, Los Helados Atomicos. <laughs> 